So last class we had done permutations. Hopefully, guys, you are there and then Murli, Murli must be there. Sharp and uh, Hari. What happened to Hari Hari? What is it? Oh, sorry, Hari Raga. Hari Raga. Uh, this is, by the way, this is a very nice book. You know, uh, the chemistry version of ABC as sent me back uh, in eleven standard, and I really like this is eleven standard. This is physics. No? I'm talking about chemistry. I studied. So when uh, when I was in eleventh standard, so I didn't know. Acha, Disha. A lot of books are there, right? Nowadays. Have you ever turned pages of these books? No, right. Turned just turned pages. Then I don't know. See, the thing is, it's not uh, much in order, or you know, it's very cluttered. Master, <laughs> not me. Okay, I'm not responsible for that. Okay. Uh, where is where is the location of? Okay, so uh, in previous, yes, not elevated. First, let me uh, lens. Just let me add pages first. So how is, how is your kids? What happened to ma'am? So she, uh, who, who she, left. she left? Okay. Master sir left? <laughs> oh. It's like you, Bhas Bhaskar is just there. I thought maybe the ghost of Bhaskar Christmas carols and all those. It or not, uh, Mr. Ashwin. Wait, wait. I'll I'll share. I'll share. Don't worry. Let me add some pages first. Okay. See, we. Uh, I think permutations. Most of the problems are you able to solve. Have you tried? See, that's the question. Have you tried? Are you able to solve problems? See, fundamental principle of counting is it clearness that when you multiply, when you add. Is it clear? It's all about the statement, Ashwin. Okay, Murli and all. Whoever is there online, I'm not talking to them. So, Gushal or both biology, any doubt? Sub, sub all right. Oh. Okay, so uh, circular permutation, I think we haven't done circular permutation, right? When right now we have done only linear permutation, that means the objects are arranged only in a linear order. Okay, like a number line. Now you bend the number line, right? When do you bend the number line? Do you know that? Do you have you studied that part in physics? No. Okay, maybe you will study it. Have you studied that cross multiplication? Cross product. What is cross? What do you mean by cross product? Ah, everyone knows. Okay. Okay. 
let me share screen shut up 1 okay as a what is cross product by the way yeah, we, we are talking about cross product. why it is called vector product one 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 it's like you yeah, have you know just imagine four people having a sword and just it feels like that yeah why is it cross called cross product what do you mean by cross product ashwin ask your friends those are my friends too uh yeah so why it is called cross product because we write cross <laughs> cross product and dot product two products you have studied right so why it is called dot product because we... good uh, it is also called vector product right why it is called vector product uh, one one why it is called vector product that means you mean a cross product of two vector is a vector quantity can you give me an example ha huh? torque torque okay torque you are saying see that's why you should not have filter in front of you don't worry the you know your voice will be polarized don't worry you know what's the what's polarized no, no i haven't studied yet no it's what <laughs> have do you have what type of specs you are wearing is it polarized glass what 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 is the meaning of polarization no no idea no idea at all in ninth standard i think you have that chapter sound waves and all right why do we keep deleting us see don't delete portion here yeah. if you delete i i will write a letter to see this please don't delete portions uh, people are not studying they are enjoying a lot let's put polar what film ten film okay say film what bollywood tollywood and hollywood Okay. See, okay. When you will be studying in physics, that uh, waves and uh, waves and thermodynamics is there, right? That time you will be asking, okay, he was right. He was teaching us graphs. So that time you will realize why graphs are so important. Like, see, there is something called fast Fourier transform. Okay, we use those type. Let's study permutations and combinations. <laughs> okay, circular permutations. sometime i oh vector product is what okay, we will see we will see today okay nice i like that what what was that by the No, no. I just uh, heard blah 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 blah. That's what I heard. Because uh, all of you four, see, your wave is like this, her wave is like this, her wave is like this, and together it will be that. See, ECG and all, it all works on fast Fourier transform. That means you will separate all the waves. You will, you can study all the individual waves. That. Sign. See, that's how you combine all these graphs, and you will get stupid graphs. Okay. What? 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 Okay. See, till now we have studied permutation in this order. Okay. Now we are going to uh, understand permutation in this order, circular order. What do you mean by circular permutation? What? Means it should be a closed loop. 
till now whatever we have studied is the open loop okay integration you have studied a little bit right you have two symbols in integration one is this and one is this right see the second one meaning is integration in a closed loop adding in a closed loop okay and the third one is adding in open loops okay that's the meaning of you don't you don't have to write that please don't do that not see integral i i don't yeah integration is in 12 standard so i'm not going to teach you that anyway okay so linear linear permutation and permutation is arrangement of arrangement of numbers okay or arrangement of order so whenever we write npr what's the meaning of npr ashwin yes what is the meaning of npr you are trying to make hair like me it will never happen your dad he will chop it up or maybe your teacher right now i don't have anyone to judge me i'll tell me what is npr no i uh, actually i went to school and they'll be like sir if you were in my class my class teacher will go over your hair and she will chop it up there itself i was like that's why i'm not in school right now yeah you tell me what is npr what is npr biology second biology i don't know don't say i don't know see this pencil uh, what is npr yeah what is npr say yeah. number of wow four classes of permutation anybody knows how to say it how many times i have written that in class is it there in this class I i'll show you sir uh, arranging n number of objects in r ways ah Mur murli say something wait 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 yeah murli arranging n number of objects in r ways so arranging r number of objects yeah oh uh, yes sir what Do you have, do you everyone have your NCERT book? Open it. You are coming from school, no? So you must be having the book. What? Tell me what NPR is. What's the meaning of NPR? One at a time. Yes. What's the meaning? Arrangement of yeah, permutation means arrangement of n r at a time, right? How many times we have done that in class? That's what we have been solving all the time. Huh? So n p r we write as n factorial upon n minus r factorial, right? And Ashwin, till now it is okay. See, uh, that was in linear order. Okay, in linear order we used to do, to do this. But what happens when we arrange objects in circular order? Okay, what will happen then? Now let's say, let's take that means a closed loop. What what can be the example of closed loop? Yeah, like a round table conference. Okay, or the beads of a necklace. right different colors you are making see there so how many ways you can make a different necklace let's say okay so those uh, are your uh, examples of your circular permutations right permutation is simply in permutation order matters remember order always matter in permutation like a b and b a are different permutations but these are not different combinations that we are going to see a combination is same isn't it okay uh, so let's say let's say there are three three objects let's say a b and c okay either you are going to use clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction any one direction you are going to use for counting because if you, if you are changing the order if you are changing the direction that means you are changing the order itself okay either we'll go this side or we can go this side usually it's recommended to go in anti clockwise direction because mostly we do that 
Okay, like in cross product also that we will see the example. We always go in anti-clockwise direction. It's not a hard and fast rule that you have to go only in anti-clockwise direction. But always, if you have taken it once, you will always have to consider anti-clockwise or if you are taking uh, considering clockwise, so always you have to go in clockwise direction. Only one direction you have to go, okay? So since it is in the book, it's, it has been taken anti-clockwise direction. That's why only I'm taking anti-clockwise direction, okay? Now, if you have three objects, A, B, C, how many ways you can arrange these three objects? How many different ways you can arrange? First, we'll see examples, okay? How many different ways you can arrange? Either it can be like A, B, C, this is already one. Another, what, what it can be? What can be? Say it instantly. B A C. Okay. B A C. All right. Anything else? C B A. Okay. C B A. That's what you're saying. Why? Uh, okay. Uh, anything else? A B C is already one. No? A B C. See. Okay. You have to take uh, consider only one direction. Okay, either clock, right now we are doing clockwise direction, right? Okay. A, C, B. But, uh, okay, let's write A, C, B. Whatever you are saying, I'll just keep writing. A, C, B, right? Okay. Yes, anything else? See, uh, we'll see the difference. Just keep telling what all combinations that are. Uh, B, A, C, okay. B, A, C. Okay. Anything else? Okay. C. Okay. Anything else that you feel that it's left out? C, A, C, A, B or B, C, A, whatever. B, C, A. Okay. B, C, A. Anything else that you can think of? I think I should B B C A is going and see uh, we are always talking in uh, this clockwise direction. These are all clockwise, right? These are all clockwise direction. It's fine and just, we are just trying to understand it here. Okay. Now you see first one is A B C. Fine. Second one is B A C. As you say it, B A C. Okay. Third one is C B A. That's what you're saying? Okay. A C B. Okay. B A C. Okay. B C. Just because first I wrote this point, you all have taken consider this point as the fixed point, right? That's what you guys are doing, isn't it? But just see this, A, B, C, right? A, B, C, you are writing A, A, B, C. This order you are writing A, B, C, right? Now you see this one. Okay. Uh, A, this last one, A, B, C is the same order. You see, A, this is also A, B, C. This is also actually A, B, C, right? You cannot fix one point, right? You, 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 the order is same, right? In the circular table, it's not like you have fixed a position. You see that A, B, C, and B, C, A. You just write B, C, A, A, B, C, and B, C are in the same order. In the same order, right? the order is not changing, right? It's after A, there is B. After B, it is C. Right? Now you see the difference in circular permutation and, and open loop permutation. This is closed loop permutation. Right, even though you are writing, see if it was linear, if you break the chain from here, let's say you break the chain, then you can write this is A, B, C. Let's say you cut it from here, then it is uh, you can arrange like A, B, C, A, B, C, and the last one you cut the chain from, then you can say B, C, A. Then it will be different. The linear permutation is different, but the circular permutation, but the circular arrangement is same, right? Circular arrangement is not different. It's the same order. A, B, C. It's going in same order. Right? That's why whenever you have, whenever you are uh, solving a circular permutation, 
what we will do we have to fix either one of the number and then we do permutation to arrange the other numbers okay like if you fix a then you can interchange b or and c etc then it will be it will have some different order like okay i'll name this number 1 number 1 and number 6 are same fine number 2 okay number 2 what order it is following a c b anything else we have a c b c this a c b and this is also a c b c if it was linear then it is you can say okay we start from b but we reach c right you can say that like you cut it cut the loop from here then it will be b a c and this will be your uh, a c b but here yes, see it is reaching the same point a c b or let's start from here c b a okay and this is also a c b a is if you are moving in a circular table the order of sitting let's say there these are three person the order remains same after this that person will see uh, sit after a you have c then after c you have b that means 2 and 4 are same 2 and 4 are same right now again you see this one c b a and this one after c you have b then a after c you have b then a The order is same. That means your third one and the fifth arrangement. So third and fifth arrangements are also same. Understood this thing? If it was linear permutation, if it was just a linear seat, one, two, three, you you will just write three factorial, right? So the permutation will be three factorial. But here, what you see when you have circular permutation, three seats. What you are writing three minus one factorial. That is two factorial. Only two uh, different arrangements will be given. Okay, right? Understood? Yes or no? See, I'm I'm just no. If it's not, then I, I I'll explain you again. I I first I'm trying to give you example because then I'll be writing in terms of n. It's just if, now see what I'm trying to tell you here is whatsoever number is there. Okay. You just fix like suppose you have uh, in a clock you have twelve numbers, right? Twelve numbers. You fix one of the number anywhere. If you can fix one, that means it is reaching back to that same position. That's why you need to fix one. Okay, any one you want to fix, you just fix one, and others you can arrange. Okay, like if you have in a clock with or without sense, how many? Uh, like you have twelve numbers, right? Twelve objects, let's say. You have twelve objects. You fix one of the object. That means now how many objects you have? Eleven is remaining. If you fix one, that means all elevens can be arranged in eleven factorial ways. Okay. So always in circular permutation, you will what you will have instead of n factorial ways, what you will be having n minus one factorial ways. Okay. If there are n number of objects, if you have n objects. So these are the possible arrangement. This is linear permutation. This is your circular permutation. Understood why it is one less always in circular permutation and factorial it is. It's not just number one less. Okay, because all other eleven can be arranged in eleven factorial ways. You have to fix one point because it is coming back to that point. Okay, and uh, see the thing is, if you count this clockwise and anti-clockwise both. it doesn't make sense because the order you are completely changing the order okay so in one particular order you uh, or if you just want to count both you multiply it by two is some question is like that but it will not be so let's solve some of the problems based on this easy it is right it's not that hard and you understood or not understanding is more important why we are uh, subtracting one in if you have uh, 12 objects why we are subtracting so why we are having 11 factorials Okay, so that that is important. Welcome, cross product. Don't worry. See, if you want fix one point, the thing is, come back. Let's come back to that same example. If you want fix any one point, what will happen?
If you can keep writing, you can fix A, B, C is there. If you are not fixing this question, you count the number of arrangements. You count the number of arrangements. A, B, C is one possibility. A, C, B is another possibility. Other are just repetitions. You can write B, C, A, but again, it will come back to that same condition. That's why we have to fix at least one. At least this, you have to fix one. If you can fix one, then others you can arrange it in whatever ways you want. Others will be your linear, uh, what? Linear presentation, right? Again, uh, uh, if you take this A also, if you won't fix this point, it will keep repeating itself. Okay? So same permutation keep on repeating. Same arrangement keep on repeating. Like you can write A, B, C, or C, A, B, or B, C, A. All are same, right? It is coming in the same way. So these three numbers are not different. These three uh, arrangements are same. Like you are sitting here, uh, he is here, and I'm here. We are three are making a kind of circle, right? So you, if, if you go clockwise, let's say this is your clockwise direction. So if you go clockwise, we are always in that same order. She will always be on my right, and we will always be on my left. Same with her. Either you start talking from him or her or me. It will be safe. It will remain safe, right? With respect to if he picks me, he will always be in the left. She will always be at the right. Okay? And with him also same. But in linear computation, I'll just sit in the middle. Okay? So her left side will be empty. His right side will be empty. Okay? So that means you have three positions and three positions can fill. We can hurry, we can shift like this in you know, here. But when you are circular, the order will be the same. Even if you just uh, keep changing, even if you start counting from the top to the That's why you have to fix one in circular form. Is it okay? If you understand why do we have to fix one point? Because the order will be the same. Okay, so let's do some of the problems with examples. I think it is circular permutation in NCRT, do you have some problems? You don't? Wow. Why we don't have any problems in circular formula? Okay, find the number of ways in which seven dissimilar things can be arranged in a line and in a circle. Okay, I'll write the problem here. Fine. You have uh, you have to find the permutation and in short I'll just write. Find permutation. Of seven object, this seven obviously dissimilar, it has to be even seven different objects. Number one in line, number two in what circle? Do this. In permutation, is repetition is allowed? If you are uh, repeating, that means you keep filling with that same person. Here it can be A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 those combinations will be there. But once A is taken, you cannot have A at two places. So that is not possible. Okay? That will come under permutation of, you know, uh, repeated, when repetition is allowed. That is different permutation. We have solved that in fundamental principle of counting by study. Yeah. In line, line means you have. Yeah, so why it will be seven? Because you have seven places. Right? You have seven places. In this one, it can go in seven ways, six ways, five, four, three, two, one ways. So that will be equal to seven factorial ways. In circle, it will be seven minus one factorial. Because you have to fix one. If you fix one, so it will be your six factorial ways. Easy? It's easy, right? Okay, do one more problem. Okay, so you have got the way. In how many ways can 10 beads, you have got 10 beads of different color. Wow, 10 different color. Wow. I thought there were only seven. Form a necklace. Uh, form a necklace. You have to find the permutation or arrangement. 
Necklace means closed loop, right? When you are making a necklace, that means it will have to be a closed loop. It's easy, right? Nine factorial. So why it is nine factorial, Ashwin? Huh? Ten minus one factorial. Why ten minus one? Why we are subtracting one? You have to fix one. Okay. If you fix one, you are left out with only nine of the beads of different colors. Okay. That's that's why it is uh, ten factorial. Yeah. Round table. Okay. Round table conference also will have questions. Okay. Uh, there are six gentlemen and four ladies. Of course, why not? So six boys. Let me write boys. Because not gentle, they are not definitely gentlemen. Four boys, uh, sorry, six boys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My mistake. Four ladies. Girls, okay. You like girls? What? Okay, boys and girls. All right. Uh, now they are having dinner together. Yes. Okay. In how many ways they can sit themselves? So that no two ladies are together. <laughs> Find the permutation. Find the permutation. See, instead of permutation, it can be written uh, arrangement, right? You know that. No, no, it is round table. No? Round table, it is obviously. That's that's what we are studying. Round table. Uh, find the permutation of what. How many ways uh, they sit sit themselves? Why ladies are not together? I can see three ladies are together. Uh, no two. See, that's why men always want to separate women, right? Ladies, is it? Because they stick together, and the men will be like, "I I can separate you guys." To, no, no, that is not true. I'm just blabbering. Okay, to you. don't. <laughs> okay, I have a very good handwriting, so please excuse me for that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Homework. <laughs> Home. See if that takes a lot of time uh, and. Uh, the problem is if I won't write it, uh, you will just not do and say, sir, that was cluttered. I, I didn't understand. Anybody, anyone, nobody is doing that. Okay. Don't blame on others. See, the thing, that's why I stopped giving you assignments. You guys are not doing this. You just do your NCRT exercises. Ask me that. See, I, I've been given a chair, a table, so I have to make use of it. Find out. <laughs> See, this is kind of similar problem, right? We have done in linear order. In linear table, we have done. Okay, and now you do it on a round table. What, what, what? What? Something is there. Ashwin, you heard, you heard what she said. You are only my ear and eyes. Okay, okay. Do it, do it first. Then we can laugh together. We have combinations also. Yeah, yeah, yeah I heard that. Don't scold me. Question, what happened? Oof. 
See, first, 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 always, I'll just give you a hint. I know everyone is blah, 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 blah. I don't know what is going on between you guys, but it's a circular table, right? If ladies are not to sit together, that means, that means, means gents can sit together, right? They can sit together. It doesn't matter. So, arrangement of boys uh, doesn't matter. You have to arrange girls. Just think about it. That means, if this is one girl and this is another girl, there must be a boy in the middle. Okay. That's a G1, G2. There has to be a boy in the middle. It can be one boy or two boys, but there has to be at least one boy. Now think in that manner. We have done that in, in previous, in linear order we have done, right? So try to do that in that circular order. How many boys are there? In how many ways the boys can sit? So you got the answer. Almost you reach there. Five at least. Then let's say B1, six boys, right? B2, B3, let's say B4, B5, and B6. Okay. These are the six boys. Okay. That means they can be, uh, they can sit in how many uh, ways? So boys can set in six minus one factorial ways. So that is equal to your five factorial ways. Boys can set. Now in uh, girls, okay. These are the positions available for a girl. So how many positions are available? One, two, three, four, five, and six positions are available. But how many girls are there? Four girls. So how many ways it can be? Now this uh, too much hint has been. This is not in, this, this is practically, practically solving your problem. Five factorial, why five factorial? See, these are the six minutes. See, boys are already to have the five factorial. N minus one factorial is the already done. So circular order is done. That means you have already done the circular order. That means how many positions are remaining? Six positions are remaining. So ladies can sit or girls can sit. Seat. Seat. Or let's write sit, whatever. ED. Okay. I am not teaching English grammar. And I'm very bad at it. I know. You don't have to point it out. So either the girls can go here, here. They have six positions, right? And only four girls are there. So if girl one is going here, and that means how girl one can go in how many positions? Six, six positions girl one can go. Girl, second girl can go in how many positions? Five, third, and fourth in three. So these many, that means this is what? Six P, four. Right, so six p four always the girls can sit. See, circular computation you have already done. Here. See, biology two. I know you are having trouble. See, circular computation you have already finished. Now it's, it's exactly similar to linear computation. Once circular computation is done, you are now solving linear computation. If it was linear computation, it will be six factorial. Yes. If it's all right, just do it. So girls can sit here. That means. Five factor, so total number of arrangement possible arrangement. So total, yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't kill that mosquito. Total possible permutation or arrangement will be how much is six into five into four into three? Seven twenty. Ah. And uh, 5 factorial? 120. So possible is 120 into 360 ways. These many ways. Suppose this was linear table. It's, it's just a bench. Okay. Now suppose this is let's say part 1. Okay. First part. This one. Now let's say second part. If the table is linear. If the table 
is linear. Linear means straight table. It's okay. Let me add some pages. Or add a full page. Too. Okay. So how it will be? One. So total, how many positions are there? Six plus four, right? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten to ten to total people are there, right? So uh, let's say if the first boy is sitting here. right so these are the six boys right these are the six six boys are there in total right girls can have how many things in between one boy at least one boy should be there right so how many positions girls can occupy uh, one two three four five six seven positions right so it will be seven into six into five into four there are four girls only, right? So these many uh, girls can sit like this, basically. Right? Arrangement of girls, right? And arrangement of boys. What will be the arrangement of boys? Six factorial ways. Okay, so total permutation will be this multiplied by this. We have done same thing here also. See circular permutation. But in circular permutation, uh, the available uh, positions were how many? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Girls could can sit only in either this two, two, three, four, five, six. Because again, the same way, it will, it's a loop. So it uh, it's, it doesn't has an end point. It, it is not having an end point, right? That's why we are fixing one boy first. We fix one boy, so how many other boy, boys can sit in how many ways? Five factorial ways, and then girls will have six positions. Okay, so six into five into four into three because there are four girls. Got it? Biology. So, understood the difference between linear and circular permutation? I, I think that will be enough. Because if you look into English statement, it can be and. It's an and statement, right? Boys and girls will sit. So this, this is the arrange, possible arrangement of boys and that is the possible arrangement of girls. That's why we are multiplying. If it is like either boys or girls will sit, then it will be, will be added that. Okay? Got it? It's just English statement. Nidhi, any doubt? No? All right. So we'll come to com combinations. I think permutations, uh, you'll be able to solve all the See, this question can be there in your NC, uh, this CBSE final exams. Okay, circular permutation. I don't know if it is there, they are asking in your uh, school or not. Have you solved problems on circular permutation before? It is, it will, because we had uh, 2000, I think I think 2000, no, I'm not that old, okay. Yeah, 2012, I have taken the uh, CBSE exam. Uh, so that time it was there. What? Any doubt? Okay. So combinations. Permutation is clear, right? The, this is all about permutation. So permutation, we'll see the, some of the introduction of combinations. Okay. And uh, tomorrow, I, I think combination one class is enough. After today, only tomorrow we can finish combination. See permutation, why it was important? Because order matters. We'll see how order, uh, what, what is combination. Ashwin. We have to ask again and again. What? Huh? Spelling mistake? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You are not even looking here. These two guys are busy in themselves. Girls stick together, right? You have have you heard that? Uh, I have heard it so many times. And that's like yes. <laughs> Don't kill me. Ah, okay. Nice, good, nice diagram. Done. <laughs> okay. 
kan? So, okay. Uh, combination is just selection. Ways of selection. Order doesn't matter. Order will not matter in selecting. Like, if you have, uh, let's say, three, I'll just get, take example of three because it is easy to understand. Okay, uh, suppose you have a banana, a pear, and an apple. Okay, these are the three fruits that you have. In how many ways you can select this? If you have to select only two. You can select either a banana and a pear, right? You can take a pear and apple. You can take a banana and apple, right? So these are the possible ways you can select. Now, if I ask you to arrange, wait, that's what I'm telling you. See, these are the, see that means these are the possible ways that you can select these three fruits. Just don't go with permutation combination. Just imagine you have three different color of pen. Blue, black, and green. Okay? And you have to choose only uh, any two. You can take any two, right? You can take any two. That, that's what the meaning is. Uh, I'll just take pen. I think you, do, you guys don't take fruits. So, don't take fruits, no? Morning, idli, idli sambar. Evening, vada sambar. I like idli, vada sambar. Awesome. The combination is awesome, right? You, do you take in the morning? Always, you know, I, when, if I'm awake till two, if I'm awake till two o'clock, somewhere, so what will happen? Uh, there, there is a really nice shop uh, in my street, okay? And they, uh, he, his, his sambar is so tasty. Uh, and he starts from seven o'clock. It's four o'clock, the shop will open. But you guys are not invited, by the way, because nobody's laughing, so... <laughs> The thing is, at uh, I'll just wake up. Means I have a class from six to seven okay, in the morning. Yeah. So, so what I will do? I'll just uh, be awake till, till four o'clock. I'll be doing something, maybe playing some online chess or watching some documents. Something I'll do. I'll take the class. I'll go there. I'll eat properly like today. And again, I'll, I'll go. I'll have a very good sleep and wake up at one o'clock. See, that's the advantage of not living with your parents. You know? In my home, I don't know why. I'll Even if I'll uh, sleep at 5 o'clock, I'll wake up at 6 o'clock. Again, I'll take breakfast, I'll do everything, and again, I'll, my, my dad will go to work, and I'll just go in my bedroom and I'll sleep there. Yeah. But uh, somehow it is like, uh, my dad is always like, even if you have cancer, we'll be like, I'll, just get up in the morning, here, everything will be fine. Yeah, he's like that. Right? All parents are kind of like that. And they are kind of right. Not uh, exactly, but still they are right. Let's study combinations. So, see, you have three pens, okay? So, one is your black pen, your green pen, and a blue pen. Okay. Okay, blue is again same. Red, red. Where is red? Oh, where is red? Red. So we have a red pen. So you can, uh, if I just, uh, if you have option, you are in a hurry, you just, just pick any two, right? You can pick the combination of uh, blue or black and red. Okay, one combination is this, green, red, or black, green. The, these are the possible combinations you can pick. But if you have to pick in order, it, it matters. What? Why are you laughing? Something? See, if it's like if, uh, if you are distributing the pen, if you are giving it to someone, okay? So first pen you are giving black and second pen you are giving red. So that in that, so black, red, red, black. Like these are the two permutations. These are the arrangements, right? These are two different arrangements of numbers. Right, right. So first you are picking blue or black, whatever, black and red. Then
then uh, the next can be either you can pick red first and black later. See, this is the first position. This is the second position, right? So first you are picking up black, then red. Here, what you are doing, you are picking red and then black. So this is permutation, right? This is your permutation or arrangement. Here, order matters. First, why order matters? First, you are selecting black, then red. And then uh, one one more on the one more selection for uh, sorry one more arrangement can be red and black. Those are the two different. The combination is same, right? The two pen if you are keeping it together, they are same, isn't it? So the combination is only one. Yes. It's wrong with this pen, right? The combination is same. So for this, you have two combinations, uh, two arrangements for this. This can have two arrangements, right? If you are picking two at a time, so together they can be arranged in two factorial ways, isn't it? And total they can be arranged in three factorial ways. These are the three pens. You can arrange in three factorial ways, isn't it? And if you just have to select, you can select only in three ways, right? So you, you are getting the idea what is the difference between permutation and combination. No, I'll, I'll, I'll explain a bit. At least you are listening, right? You are listening, no? Okay. Try to understand this. Like you have three pen out of three bananas or, or no, some three fruits, something, three colors. Okay, so let's say you have three, one pen. Uh, one pen, one eraser, and one 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 what? Pen. How you will sharp your pen? Okay, let's say this is a pencil. Pencil, pencil, pencil is fine, right? Pencil and a sharpener, right? So if I just ask you to pick any two, right? That means select any two. Uh, I'll give it to you, right? So either you can pick a uh, pencil and eraser. Or you can pick a eraser and a sharpener, or you can pick a pencil and a sharpener. Right? These two you can pick. But I ask you to pick in an order, in a particular order. This is not an order, right? In a particular order, if I ask you, so either first you can pick pencil, then you can pick eraser, or you can pick eraser, then you can pick pencil, then you can pick eraser and your sharpener. Then uh, again, another sharpener or eraser. Again, pencil or sharpener or sharpener. Why I'm not able to erase? Uh, er uh, eraser, right? What is that? This was pencil and sharpener right sharpener and pencil so now you see you are picking in a particular order here you see order is order matters right in which order you are picking. so those are the two different events see for for this these two are the same event when you are just picking it when order doesn't matter right these two see here right in the first one, you see order doesn't matter in which order you are picking. In the second one, order matters, right? Because you are picking first pencil, then sharpener. Here it is first sharpener, then pencil. So these, this is a order, particular order you are picking up. So these are called arrangements or permutations. Permutation or arrangement. Here order matters. Here it is. It is called combination or selection. We are just simply selecting. Okay, order doesn't matter. Okay. Have you heard Nityanam? Money doesn't matter, no? Have you heard? Nice guy. Really nice guy. You should listen to him every day. 
don't tell your parents i'm saying that here you know listen to nectar i have said nothing for the record i meant nothing please don't send me to jail what i don't know what these guys are talking about i don't know these people okay so understood was listen now you understood the difference between permutation and combination okay that means combination is represented by n c r that means combination of n objects taking r objects at a time right on selection of of n objects taking r at a time okay and we write combination n c r is equal to n factorial upon r factorial n minus r factorial okay permutation how do we write n p r n minus uh, asker where is asker n minus r factorial now see this is let's say this is 1 and this is 2 So, what's the relation between a permutation and a combination? You can can you find it from here? Just substitute uh, equation one into right. Yeah, yeah. Do stop blabbing and write. Yes, 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 yes. Like I don't know. Ah, huh? maybe. Pardon? Yeah, yeah. You're correct. Don't worry. I blabber a lot, so. Oh, oh, oh. N P R is equal to see N P R is N factor. Now see this is your N P R. See this is your N P R, no? Isn't it? So N P R, if you multiply it this side, what you will get R factorial R factorial into N C R. That's what you will get. No biology? No. No. Okay. 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 All right, she she is right. It's fine. It's fine. I'll show you magic magic trick. So <laughs> see, it's because the surface. See again here, there are some mathematics is there which I'm not able to teach you. <clears throat> see, uh, n n p r we can write n p r is equal to n factorial. Upon n minus r factor. Okay, let's divide it. Better doing that instead of substituting. Just divide one by two or two by one. Divide two by one. What you will get? N p r upon n c r is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial divided by n factorial upon r factorial n minus r factorial. Fine. Is this okay? Can we write this as n factorial upon n minus r factorial multiplied by r factorial n minus r factorial upon n factorial? Is it fine? This is one n factorial by n factorial one. This is what one. What do we have? Only r factorial. So n p r is equal to n c r into r factorial. Is that okay? Fine. Now the examples that I just gave you. Suppose you have you have n is equal to three and r is equal to two. Right? N is you. So find out n p r is how much? N p r is how much? Three factorial upon three minus two factorial. How much is that? Three factorial or three into two? That is six. Fine. Now find NCR. NCR is equal to three factorial upon three minus two factorial upon two factorial. Fine. So this is three into two factorial upon two factorial, which is equal to three. Fine. Now see the relation between NPR and NCR. Just I gave you. See here how many combinations were possible. See one, two, three, four, five, six combinations. Uh, sorry, six uh, selection uh, uh, permutations are possible, right? 
or six way we can select it. Six way we can arrange it. Sorry, the correct way is that six ways we can arrange it, and how many ways we can combine it? Three ways. Fine. So you see the same relation that we are getting here. Six, three. Okay. And you just, uh, if you want to check this relationship, this equation, let's check this one. Let's say a. Okay, we can check this one as well. So NPR will be equal to R factorial upon NCR, right? So let's find the value of R. So NPR, how much we have got? Six. R factorial, how much we have got? Three. So R factorial is equal to two. That is again two factorial. Fine. That means the value of R is equal to two. R value is two. Fine. Is do you agree or disagree? I'm just doing some simple calculations. R is equal to two, right? So see, uh, in this problem, we are taking two. We are trying to arrange two objects at a time, right? We are we are given three objects and we are arranging two at a time. So what we'll get six. Uh, six ways are possible. When you are selecting two objects at a time, you have three ways. Okay, so that's a difference between permutation and combination. And if you have understood permutation, you can solve all the problems from combinations. But anyway, we are going to solve some of the problems tomorrow. Is combination clear to you? I think if you have understood permutation, combination is easy, right? See combinations. Next class, just try to find out some of the examples of combinations, real life examples. Real life examples of permutation. You have asked real life example of logarithmic function, right? Why do we use logarithmic or exponential functions? Uh, you only you ask, no? Who asked that? See, I told you, no. Logarithmic functions are used to, you know, uh, to compress the value. Of what? Okay, I'll stop. Uh huh. What? Okay, still you want to know. Okay, I will give you. See, uh, logarithmic functions and exponential logarithmic functions are used to compress the value. Okay, like uh, like the earthquake, which scale do we measure it on? Pixel scale, right? So it works on that sound frequency, uh, you know, decibels, the you know amount of sound what you are listening. So that all works on what a logarithmic scale that we are using. So we what we do we compress the value. When we want to study, uh, you know, uh, very small values, what we do, we try to expand that value. So we do that using exponential function. So that's the use of exponential, or just studying the, you know, population. Or in biology also, you will have that same relation. Population density of maybe bacteria or something, you know, or uh, like population density of a particular area. How do we study that? We use exponential functions for that. Okay, so these are some of the examples. We have like a lot of examples. So similarly, you try to find out the real life example of permutation and combination. Okay. okay, thank you. So much. But you just try to find out. I told you combine permutation as well as combination. I never, you know, separated permutation example and combination example. I just want you to separate separate those and find out the real example of permutation and combinations. Okay, thank you. I'll end the class here. Thank you. That's those were all. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Try to come to class tomorrow. We'll finish talking.
Thank you. 